This is Iron Sharpens Iron Council. Welcome to the evolution. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Iron Shark Design Council, and I'm Ann Smith with special guest Stan Mitchell, here to give us a very good report about a conversation we had, and I, uh, you know, fortunately was able to convince him to share it with us. I know you can see from the uh, video title, um, it just gives us more inspiration to feel empowered that we can win. This is not an isolated um, incident. This is something that, um, you know, can be spread out and hopefully you'll get something from this. But yeah, the conversation was very, very interesting. This is gonna be Stan's contribution to the workshop. So it's gonna be an ongoing updated um, scenario with instructions and any any news, but yes, his friend uh, talked about how she was able to, um, she, she stopped paying, was it for six years? Yeah, about five years, yes. Okay, so, okay, so uh, she, she was, uh, but tell, give it, set, set, set the whole thing up or, or, or whatever you can share about uh, how did this story, how did it begin, where, she, where it's going on now, what did she do, anything that you can give us. And then of course, again, the updates will be inside the workshop and I'll put the uh, workshop link in uh, the video description box. Go ahead, take it away, Stan. Okay. Uh, this is something that is going on with all of us throughout the country right now with this uh, losing our homes due to late payments and different different litigations and all kinds of stuff. The thing is this, a friend of mine, we was talking and she told me that she used the system against the, against the system itself. In other words, when the lender is trying to uh, let's say for example trying to force you out of the property and they send you these notices and what's not and when you go to the court and they are not prepared with their own paperwork you could use that in your favor and what i mean is that when they do not have the citation that they sent to you via mail mail and you have your copy you could go to the when you go to the court and they're not prepared you just uh when, when the judge asks them where is their where's the paperwork and what have you they mm -hmm. do not have it you present yours saying that yes you did give me a citation for this date and they are not prepared so therefore it's it's, an, it's 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 a procedure that provides you more time in the property without having any type of penalties because the lenders or the people who's coming against you they were not prepared when you go to court so you can use this in your favor all the time just make sure you carry your copies of whatever citation that might be given to you at the time for the for the appointed time and therefore, that's how you could extend your time being on the property without having to pay not a dime. So let's call this friend uh, Lisa, to, you know, to protect her identity. So Lisa uh, received the um, the notices in the mail to um, that they wanted her out of the property. Absolutely. And so when she showed up, she had the evidence to back her up. I'm not sure what the evidence was, but um, so then the next thing we know is that Lisa remained in the property for five years without without pain. paying anything because each time she showed up at court and the uh, lenders, lawyers was not prepared to present a good case to the, to the judge. Then the judge would turn around and give, you know the judge would turn around and give them more give her and them more time in order to get the paperwork together, and she has been lucky for about five years. Uh, this same procedure been going on. Of course, 
I, I, she didn't tell me whether it was the same judge, but that's what was that's what was going on all along, and that's how she gotten that lengthy time to stay in the property without paying anything. Did she? Uh, what I, I remember you saying that she um, ended up selling the property, or she's no longer she's in a new property. So tell tell the the audience more about that. She, at the end of, at the end of all that running back and forth to the courts and what have you. She ended up selling the property and selling the property and and, and the lender and, and the, the lender and her came to an agreement where whatever she had sold it for, whatever whatever arrangement they did, she just got rid of the property. They got their funds and she got a little bit of funds and she moved into another property. So she ended up uh, buying another property probably with the equity transfer and then, okay. Do you uh, do you know if they were threatening foreclosure or what was what was the issue? Because I know you said something about um, she was doing um, debt validation. She was she wanted them to prove that the debt was valid, and they never could. And they never could. There's okay. No, yeah, it was it was yes, it was a foreclosure as well. Yes, it was. Okay, okay. So she they, kept presenting her evidence and rebutting their allegations, and they could never they could never. Uh, defeat her um her affidavit and her evidence you froze oh can you still hear me yes i can hear you yes all right well you you just go ahead and 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 finish up the story if you you know with whatever you have okay um well in essence in essence she uh she 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 just came out uh, she didn't she didn't come out losing anything she just came out gaining and in you know in the interim of that, and ended up with another property, and came out of that situation. And this is what she shared with me in, you know, in terms of using the system against its own system itself by, uh, by uh, keeping your paperwork by keeping your paperwork intact when you show up to your appointed uh, uh, date to show up in court. That's basically it. Did she say? Um how uh was it that she came about this knowledge how did she learn how to you know fight for her her rights well she did a little bit of research and it just happened that the lawyers for the for the for the lenders was not prepared and i guess when they go to court they probably been she didn't she didn't I, i'm just guessing that they were they were never prepared when they went into the to the court. I don't know if it was the same set of people, but the lenders people they were never prepared when they attended the appointed time to be in court. See there, preparation beats every time. Yeah. Um, and she is 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 Lisa uh, an attorney or uh, a paralegal or have any legal background? Not at all. Not at all. Exactly. Not at all. Exactly. Just a regular woman just a woman, private woman who private person mm -hmm. and just used the system she learned enough to keep them at bay for five years basically absolutely. stopping the foreclosure absolutely to the point where she was able to just leave she sold it left now she's uh she's in is she still in her new house now yes yes absolutely yes did she say when uh this case uh ended how like how recent was it um i'm not sure i think it's like about four years ago three to four years ago yeah so uh all of the laws that she used all of the rules and procedures of court still applies today it's not yes. like this was a hundred years ago this is recent stuff yes and uh, in what state, if you don't mind me asking? In New York. Okay, okay. New Just, York. you know, people might want to know. But the point is of this video is to show you that stay encouraged. This is possible, okay? They're using fear tactics against us okay. because they know that you don't know. They know that we don't know the law, but the law is perfect. You have to use it against them. That's what they've been doing against us. And so when I heard that story, I was excited. So um, 
you know, Stan has invited his friends to the workshop, but even if she uh, does not um, to the workshop because she's been doing um, remodeling with her uh, with her rental property, yeah, and uh, and so um, if she doesn't have the time to join us, you know, Stan is our connection, and he's going to keep us up to date You're with frozen. any yeah, and kind of like be our pipeline to Lisa uh, to get the information. Can I hear you? Ms. Ann? Ms. Ann, could you hear me? Okay, talk. No, I was saying that I wasn't hearing what the last segment that you spoke about. I, I didn't hear Can you anything. hear me now? Yes. Okay. And your, your uh, video froze. It's kind of freezing up. Yeah, it's the Zoom thing ever since the pandemic took over. Um, nothing we could do about it we just press on but basically I'm saying that you know that Stan is going to be our pipeline to any updates that he continue to have from Lisa and so um, I highly encourage you guys to check it out check out the uh, workshop I'll put the link in the video description box and uh, you know that's all we have for you today have a great day on purpose thank you very much Stan we'll see you guys on the next video